Hey, Motorman here. If you just wandered onto this channel by some strange twist of fate, you don't know me. I've got over 800 videos on YouTube and I'm a motor officer instructor. I've been teaching people the motor officer techniques for more than 20 years. And of course, I'm the maker of the Ride Like a Pro video. We're going to talk today about adjusting the bike to better fit the rider. Now, a lot of people take this for granted, but the handlebars are very important. You want to get the handlebars close to your body for better leverage. The good news is on 2020 Harley-Davidson touring bikes, they've actually made the handlebars taller. So the distance between here and the bottom of the handlebars is taller. That means you have more pullback. If you pull the handlebars down just a bit, you can get much closer to the bars. These actually are what they used to call Road King police bars, and they are now on all Road Kings. But the way to do this, and is I, I want to thank somebody who mentioned this in the comment section because it used to be a nightmare, but it no longer is. You have an Allen bolt on this side right here. There's another one on the other side. It's two bolts. That will allow you to take this piece and pull it forward. And you want to cover the tank because you could scratch it. Once you do that, and by the way, you do not have to take out the ignition. Just slide this back. There's probably going to be some wires in there hooked to this piece, but don't worry about that. You can disconnect them if you like. But on the police bikes, there aren't any wires. These are just dummies, these uh, covers right here. But there is a plug on there. I didn't have to mess with the plug at all. I pulled it forward. That allows you to get to two bolts that are right under here. And you loosen those two bolts. There's a total of four, but you only need to get to two of them. And what you need is one of these, preferably a ball end. Once this comes down, you'll be able to get this in. You'll be able to then loosen the bolts, loosen both sides a little bit at a time on each side. And then you could either push the bars forward if you're a taller person or pull them down. Before you snug them up completely, make sure that it feels good to you. Now, once you do that, you'll also probably have to adjust the brake and the clutch lever. It's just a couple of torque screws that allow you to do that to tip them up or down. I've seen so many riders, especially if they've got a rental bike and they come to my class and the, the bike, these levers are tilted up or tilted way down. It makes it awkward to use your clutch, especially the clutch, but also the brake. So you want to make sure you're, they, they want to be just slightly down from the grip. So if you hold your hand here, if your hand was level, it would be here slightly down right about here that's at least perfect for me some people might not work for it, but you can adjust these by simply loosening a couple of uh, these uh, torque screws that they have on here and i think it's a 27 torx 27 and it's torx 25 on this side and the same on the clutch side so you want to loosen those and lift them up or down another thing that you can do to make it better fit the right i had to do this for my wife because she's right now she's behind the camera but she has kind of short legs so it's a little bit of a problem for her to reach the kickstand so in addition to the lower seat that we put on here i put this extension on i got this off of ebay for i think it was 10 or 12 dollars and it is you're going to need a metal bit because you're going to have to drill through here and once you do put a little loctite on there and that makes it so much easier to put the kickstand up or down for the rider so, okay, these aren't completely free, but they're pretty close to being free, 10 or $12. I think if you go to Harley, they charge you like 30 bucks for that, but the exact same one, because I once bought one from Harley, the exact same one is available on Amazon or eBay, and I think it's just called the kickstand extension. Now, moving over to the Road King, on this particular bike, I have a street glide seat, and I found that on the street glides, at least the older ones, I think this is from a 2010, the seats were kind of wide. I believe they've changed that and narrowed them down now. So what I did was I took the cover off of this and there's just staples on there. I took the cover off, I got an electric knife and I trimmed the sides down and I took a little bit off the top. Not too much off the top, it's mainly the sides that you want to trim. Once you get where you want it to be with the electric knife, you want to sand it off so it's nice and smooth and it doesn't show through the cover. Staple the cover back on and it didn't cost you anything your feet are closer to the ground if you're shorter And the same thing if you're taller and you can add foam to the seat adding foam of course will make the seat more comfortable But you add foam to it make the seat a little bit higher if you're a tall person Another thing I did on this bike The standard windshield was too high I found myself having to look directly through it which is not bad in the daytime But at night you really don't want to do that because you'll get some glare so I cut down the windshield I think it's now measures 16 and a half inches from here to here 
and for my height, that's perfect for me. You, know, you want to measure a couple of times. In, in fact, I, I'm going to put a link to the video exactly how to do this. It's just a matter of making your pattern out and using some masking tape on both sides and cut it with a, a, a jigsaw. That, that's what I found to be the easiest. And you can cut it by hand, but you're, it's, it's going to be a problem if you do that. So you can cut down your windshield. You can adjust your bars. And by the way, on the road thing here, this is something else I found out on YouTube. This little piece right here is a little plastic piece. You could pop it out with a screwdriver, being really careful not to scratch anything. And underneath here, there are also four bolts, but you only need to get to two of them. Get to those two bolts, loosen them up a little bit at a time on each side, and then bring the bars down towards you if you're shorter, or push them forward, whatever is the, the adjustment that you need. And again, once you do that, you're going to have to adjust your mirrors and your... Uh, brake and clutch levers and that doesn't cost you anything to do this this is easy stuff folks and before I go I want to show you something now believe me I don't get this for free but take a look at this truck there's a reason I parked it over here this is a 2016 and I'd heard about ceramic coatings and they're pretty expensive somewhere around 70 or 80 bucks but then I saw this it's Meguiar's ceramic wax and I hope Meguiar's will send me a, a case of this stuff because I love it this is it's just an amazing product you wash your truck or your car or your motorcycle. I've done both the bikes with it, and they're shining like crazy, but they're also brand new. This truck is four years old. So you wash the truck, hose it down, get all the soap off while it's still wet. You spray this over the entire vehicle, let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then squirt it down and dry it off. And it's amazing the finish that you get with this. Now this, after I wash this and put this coating on here, it's been out in the rain and you can't see a single drop on here. It's just nothing short of amazing and i think this was 10 bucks it's the best quick wax that i've ever used and it, like i said it's got the ceramic wax in it it's i've never seen a wax take the the water and the dust and everything right off of it a vehicle i used it on the motorcycles on the bikes i did it a little bit different because there's another way to do it i didn't want to hose the bikes down so i cleaned it as i normally do and by the way if you want to see my detailing secrets to uh, cleaning the bikes and keeping them nice and clean i've got a video for that also i'm going to put a link to that but what i did was i wet down the bikes with a cloth and some clean water i squirted this on and then i took it off and then just dried the bike off and, and the coating is beautiful on there I'm, I'm absolutely amazed at this product the ceramic coating what do they think of next i got one more thing to show you before we go by the way if you like these videos that i send you i hope that you give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and then that little bell so every time you'll be notified when we come out with a, a new video we still have this shortcuts and survive in the mean streets we've got this special going both of them for 10 bucks plus shipping any place in the continent of the united states if you have to ship out of the states it's going to cost you more it comes with a practice guide in the practice guide we show you how to set up each exercise and I walk you through it. Everything I say in the video is actually printed on here. So you go through each exercise, you can read. I tell you also and hear the mistakes that you're likely to make. So two of these for 20 bucks, you gotta be kidding me. It doesn't get any better than that. You would net, there's nothing else you could buy for your motorcycle that's gonna be 20 bucks. I mean, it's, it's a steal. I'm almost, I'm almost embarrassed to say that this is so cheap, it, it will save your life, I guarantee you. Shortcuts to riding like a pro, and then we have surviving the mean streets that's going to show you why you did these particular exercises because we take you out on the road and we show you real life situations in here how to avoid the most common motorcycle crashes so the practice guide you get both of these but you got to call to get this special it's 866-868-7433 eastern standard time from 9 a.m to 9 p.m please don't call me from australia at two in the morning we're not going to answer the phone but 9 a.m to 9 p.m toll free call say you saw this video hit the subscribe hit that little bell give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in a couple of days with a new video